to Samu, and then whenever you're ready, you can just give me a quick briefing on the approach. Hey, right, let's see. Yep, no rush, no rush. What is that? Uh, what it is is your... Oh, uh, out of 200 feet. Yeah, so we keep kind of fluctuating in and out of 200 feet. Okay. So it doesn't do it anymore, I'm just going to set it to an odd altitude. Okay. And then if you want to use it, we'll bring it back in. Uh, initially, I got to... Okay, so we're going to follow that course. Direct two. Yep, direct two saw move. Let me just switch this for a minute. Okay. Ocala Tower, 067 energy level, they are now uh, 18. 067, uh, correction, November 679, Julia Bravo, Ocala Tower, report leggy. Report leggy, 679, Julia Bravo. Bounced around. Basically, for the approach. You could zoom and do whatever go, you need. Yeah, we could go here. We go direct to Zormo. Yep. And this is a T-shaped approach. Yep. But when he clears us, basically this leads us, it's going to lead us by the hand. Going to fly. 2100 feet, no procedure turn, to the final approach fix, then down to 1700 to Luggy, and the final approach fix at 1900, uh, 1700, I'm sorry. I'm reading this right. And then from there down to the runway. Yep. We've got a visual de descent point, right? Yeah, so we do. All right, the 927 Gulf Hotel C, you're getting off course a little bit. Just wanted to check in. Yeah, okay, we're getting back on course now. All right, perfect. Normally, if I was going to do this, I'd have the autopilot flying it. Yeah, and, that, and that's fine. Because, but I want to, you know, the way I was trained years ago was no autopilot. Right, right. Well, you never know, it could fail on you, it may not work, so you still have to be able to do it by hand. you got to be able to, right, pain the neck, but... Anyway. We're going to fly to the initial approach fix. So we're going to Samu, and well, you move. said uh, 2100, which, if you want, you can, stay, you can maintain 2100. That's fine. Instead of 2,000, that way we're actually shooting the actual numbers. Yeah. And this plane should more or less is getting bounced around a bit. Yeah, it's a bit. this front coming through. Yeah, it's a little bumpy. A little altitude fluctuation is uh, to be expected. So when you okay. turn okay. your attention. Bravo, overlooking. Now we're 679 Julie Bravo, runway 18, clear for the option. Clear for the option, runway 18, 679 Julie Bravo. This whole thing is repetition. Yeah. I mean, yep, absolutely. And I've got to have the camera working for me, too. Picking up everything we're saying. Right, right. Then I can study it. We're 12.8 miles, this is what I'm looking for, and it's right in front. Right, yep, yep. 357. I'm used to the NS430. Right. Instinctively, I'm looking. And now, the 2100.
Say 300 is where I want to be. RPM. That's yeah, a good power setting. see any traffic, huh? I don't see anything. I don't see anything on the screen either. We're going to get um, turn anticipation here. Yeah, yeah. So you'll get uh, you'll get some turn anticipation on the approach, and uh, what you'll see is it'll still give you like a countdown. So it'll say turn in you know eight, seven, six, five, and then it'll say turn now, and then you go ahead and turn standard rate. Yeah, at standard rate. And if you've done properly in the winds, the winds can throw it off a little bit. You should be right on course. It may have to do a little course correction here or there. Number 9, Julie Bravo, X here, climb our contact, Jack, 18.6. Over to Jack, uh, thank you for your help. Five and a half miles. Five and a half miles. system is good to know. It's a good system. It's uh, it's a little clunky at times, but overall it's a decent system. Now the new one, the NXI, is I think faster. Yeah, so they, they kind of streamlined it a lot more. 
made it a little bit more user friendly, a little easier. And like you said, a little faster. That's the response. Yeah. Nice if I left the two seven six in five seconds. Niner 27 Golf Hotel, about four miles uh, from Cuffcho, cleared for the RNAV 18 approach, maintained 2100 till established. Jacksonville approach, 927 Golf Hotel, cleared the RNAV 18 approach into Ocala, maintained 2100 until established. All right, looking good. Now, so one thing we're going to need, though, is the tower. Yeah, so tower's already in. Okay. That's that's what we've been listening to. I've been monitoring oh, I'm sorry. it. Just I'm so. thinking we're on approach. Yeah, yeah. No, we're just simulating. 3.7 miles to the Joe. It's Cuff Joe. Yep, Cuff Joe. We can get down, when we make the next turn to the final approach fix, then we can get down to 1700, right? That, that's affirmative. So we're doing uh, LNAV minimums. So uh, LNAV minimums are 480 and one statue mile visibility. It's not bad. No? Uh, 480, no, that's not too bad. 480. And one mile. And one mile, yep. And that's what LNAV, that's not LPV. Pronounce these intersection names. You're okay. <laughs> if you could spell them, it's even better. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, sir. Very good. Very good. All right, looking good. Hey, turn left to one eight six seven six five seconds. All right. One second. Left turn one eight six. All right, looking good. And down to seventeen hundred. That's affirmative. Once established. Inbound for touch and go, and then a departure to the south. Just your call sign, please. Niner two seven Gulf Hotel, Skyhawk. November with that Niner two seven Gulf Hotel or Delta Hotel. You're kind of hard to understand. It sounds like your mic's kind of close to your mouth. 
Yeah, it's 927 Gulf Hotel. 927 Gulf Hotel, Roger. Report three miles north. All right, Roger that. Report three miles to the north, 927 Gulf Hotel. Uh, no problem. Uh, just just so I can get her, because uh, sometimes they're funny about doing VFR approaches. Yeah. So I'm not even telling them we're on an approach. I'm just telling them we're 10 miles to the north. I got it. And then she just wants us to report three miles. Seven miles from Luggy. Yep, looking good. Looking good. So far, so good. My bright is. Am I coming through clear to you? I am. Okay. I was gonna say it sounds clear to me. She said that I was. It was hard to hear me. I'm like, huh? Okay. Who knows? <laughs> Get up there. Yep, got a little low altitude. How's that happen? Two miles. stuff again. Yep. That yeah, little shear there. Well, it's going to tell us what course we got to be on for the final. Yeah, you should be on the uh, final approach course. Final approach course. 86. Yeah, 186. Nexus Iowa track 186. Yep. Let's get that localizer back in. Yep. And then you can go ahead and descend and maintain uh, 700 until uh, Kumim, which is your next fix you're two miles away from. Now through to 700. 700, yep. And then once we pass that fix, then it's your minimums at 480. Let's watch that localizer. There you go. is the magic number. Yep, 700 until uh, Kumib. 1.7 miles. Yep, looking good. Colizer's coming in. There you go. And okay, 500 feet to go. 27 Gulf Hotel. It's about a three mile final for runway 18. 
Seven Gulf Hotel, runway 18, clear touch and go after touch and go straight out to the south. All right, clear for touch and go, 18, and then straight out to the south, 927 Gulf Hotel. Uh, so you're crossing the uh, Kumib now, so now you can go ahead and descend and maintain 480. Okay, descend to 480. Yep. And just keep an eye on that localizer. Got to get a full deflection there. There's the airport. Yep, there's the runway. Throttle back, and we can go 10 degrees. All right, 10 degrees, looking good. And we're yep. at the white arc. Yep, inside the white arc, looking good. A little high, but that's okay. Speed up. Got a nice crosswind here. Yeah, it's a little, little bit of a crosswind going on right here. you what you can be involved with. Oh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be actual IMC, but it's still... Yeah, there's a lot more going on there, too. Oh, yeah. All right. So we'll just keep going on... Uh, we're going on this heading for right now. I'm going to maintain uh, 2,000. There you go, 185, looking good. Or 186, I think it was. There's a good wind there. Yeah, we got a really good crosswind going on. It's 22 knots right here. Time. Uh, looking good. It's almost two o'clock. Yeah, we're good. I'll have you back. 